Polyfire here. In this video, we're going to be talking about our homemade pipe shotgun. Now, this is not your typical homemade pipe shotgun because it actually has a trigger on it. And most of them, you just slam it into the receiver like the one I showed you how to make previously. And I'll have the link to that down somewhere there. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. This is 100% homemade. You can go to Lowe's, buy all the parts to make this, and it's the only thing you need to know how to do is weld and do a little bit of fabricating and machining. That's about all you got to know how to do on this. And if you're looking for a quick, easy, do it in 30 minute kind of shotgun, the Slam Fire is probably your best option. Now we'll go into a little bit more detail. This has got a homemade muzzle brake on it and that's just something simple I designed after like the 50 BMG got a simple rebar foregrip rebar stock and surprisingly this don't hurt that bad to shoot as it may look here we've got as simplistic of a trigger as you can get and I'll bring in a close-up of all this here in a minute and then I'll show you how to disassemble it now over here you got your charging handle which is fairly simple. It's just a bolt. Pull it back, slams forward. Now, show you this side over here. It does have some big spring pressure. And then pull the trigger. So it's actually very, very manageable. Now, I'm not telling you to build one of these because this is 100% legal. There's no legal issues. I'm just showing you how to make it or how I made it. Due to new YouTube regulations, I'm not done to show you how to make nothing. So I'm going to bring you in for a close up and how to make it. Alright, so now we're going to disassemble this. And disassembly is actually easier than a high point. Yes, I said it. Easier than a high point. Now, to disassemble it, all you do is unscrew the nut that was there, the bolt falls out. And you pull the trigger, and this little end cap comes right out. And this end cap is actually just a piece of three quarter inch black iron pipe with a piece of, piece of flat stock welded on top, and then that gives you the end cap. Now, come on back, we got the spring. And now to get the bolt out, you unscrew the charging handle, and this is actually a very good fit. Got a lot of threads on it, so it'll take it a minute. And it, there we go. That's actually one of the easiest times it's come out. It's finally breaking in. And then to get the bolt out, pull the trigger, push, and you got the bolt. Now, it took quite a bit of sanding to get this to go in and out smoothly. And all this is is a piece of three quarter inch pop with a piece of plate welded on the tip and then I just found dead center on that, welded, and then I took a file and filed to make the firing pin. And you can see that is a very good firing pin. It's good primer contact 100% of the time. So that's how easy it is to disassemble. Now a quick close up of the muzzle brake. You can see it's a very mean looking. It's just been tacked on and the way I made it was a piece of one inch pipe and two pieces of plate and a, just four little thing four little wings in there that I welded in and then sandwiched it together welded to make that and then a quick close up of the stock welds ain't pretty but and then the bread and butter of the whole gun the trigger and you can see it's very simple the way it works is you just got this and then when you pull the trigger, it lets the bolt fly forward. And when it's locked in position, this little piece here, you see that, actually goes right in that hole. And then that's what holds it. And then spring, I did not want to overcomplicate this. Just simple spring, and it's held in. Very easy to remove too. You can see, just a very small spring. And to put it back in, just push it in, clicks right in. 
So that is how easy this gun is to make. Polyfire here. In this video, we're going to be shooting our open bolt shotgun, and we're just shooting some standard factory rounds, and we're going to be shooting at a long shot powder container. We are going hot. Self eject, almost. All right, time for our second shot. All right, going hot. So now that you've seen how I disassemble it and the shooting, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and comment what you think below or comment any suggestions on what I should make next or any other video ideas. And I hope you have a great day. Shoot safe and God bless you. God bless you.